a vida do, do meu pai, acho que é uma, uma coisa inédita também, porque ele começa a disciplina, que ele não tinha também essa disciplina militar. O chato que o meu pai contou, era uma pessoa muito chata, porque ele entrava numa empresa. A luta continua! Contra o quê? Mozambique's Independence Day 2015. 40 years. A time to celebrate. Nossos pais morreram uh, pela independência. Então, nós, os filhos, quando vamos para lá, nós somos com aquela vivacidade de querer ver aquilo que nossos pais fizeram na independência. Então, aquilo é... Ficamos, tão, ficamos cheios de alegria, porque aquilo... Há muitas pessoas que morreram. E para outros, é time de refletir. É tanta coisa e, ao mesmo tempo, é, é tão pouco tempo que parece que foi ontem. A sensação que eu tinha ontem é, é que a independência tinha acontecido é, muito perto. One person's presence is felt by many Mozambicans any time independence is mentioned. Samora Michel led the final stages of the struggle against the colonial Portuguese. And even after Mozambicans were ruling themselves, he expected more. A luta continua! Contra o quê? Na memória de África e do mundo, Pátria bela dos gozaram lutar. Moçambique, o teu nome é liberdade, O sol de julho para sempre brilhará. Julia Mondlane is a neighborhood leader of Mozambique's Party of Independence, Frelimo. His father was among the men Samora commanded before the 1975 liberation. Samora era um homem do povo, era um homem querido. Ele, quando no as pessoas choravam por tanta emoção. Ele era uma pessoa querido, mas era uma pessoa também muito chata, que meu pai contou. Era uma pessoa muito chata, porque ele entrava numa empresa. Samora was from the fiercely independent province of Gaza. His great-grandfather fought the colonial Portuguese during one of the province's uprisings. The Portuguese arrived in 1501 and treated Mozambique as a trading port until the 20th century. In the 1930s, they decided to bring settlers from Portugal to oversee farming to produce raw materials for European manufacturers. Samora's parents were forced to grow cotton instead of food. Samora was born in 1933 and was sent to schools run by Catholic missionaries. There, he developed his famed passion for honesty, fairness, and integrity. When he was still a teenager, his parents were kicked off their land, which was given to Portuguese settlers. Samora declined the missionary's offer to send him to seminary school, instead choosing nursing. While working at the Miguel Bombarde Hospital, he found that white nurses were paid more than blacks. He left in anger, crossing over to Tanzania 
and joined the Mozambican Liberation Front, known locally as Frelimo. A vida do, do meu pai acho que é uma, uma coisa inédita também, porque ele começa como enfermeiro, não é? E esta parte humana dele de se dedicar muito às pessoas. As pessoas pensam que ele era muito duro, mas no fundo o meu pai era uma pessoa muito, muito humilde, muito, com muito coração, com muito coração, muito de coração. Então quando ele passa para a vida militar, quer dizer, a disciplina que ele não tinha também esta disciplina militar. By 1964, he was being trained in Algeria as a fighter. He returned to lead one of Frelimo's early guerrilla attacks on the Portuguese. His determination and charisma led him to rise in the ranks of Frelimo, which was led at the time by Eduardo Mondlane. Ele, ele fascinava, ele meio que hipnotizava, não sei se me faço entender. Ele era fascinante, ele, ele tinha o dom da palavra, ele, era, era fácil ser arrastado por ele, se é que me faço entender, era fácil. É, e era um homem muito sedutor, ele não era bonito, não é? Fisicamente, mas era muito sedutor. Monlane was killed by a bomb delivered in the mail while visiting Tanzania in 1969. For the next six years, Samora led guerrilla operations meant to frustrate and weaken the Portuguese army. He received support from others who had recently achieved independence from colonial rule, such as Tanzania and Zambia. When a coup d'etat overthrew the Portuguese regime back in Europe, the country gave up its fight to maintain colonies in Mozambique, Angola and East Timor. Six years after Samora started leading for Limo, the party wrote a constitution in Tofo, a resort near the provincial capital of Imhambane. The document met Samora president when he declared independence from Portugal in 1975. June de 1975, the Central da of Limo proclama solenemente a independência total e completa de Moçambique. He said, look, there's no more Portuguese in Mozambique. If you want to keep being Portuguese, you've got 24 hours to go to Portugal. You gotta go. And a lot of people went. Samora's first goal was unity. A luta continua. A luta continua. Contra o quê? Contra o tribalismo. Contra o analfabetismo, contra a exploração do homem pelo homem, contra a superstição, contra a miséria, contra a fome, pé descalço, a luta continua para que sejamos todos homens iguais. He hoped to achieve this by establishing basic services for all Mozambicans. Clamar e gritar por isso. Nós queremos justiça social. He not only pushed the meager government revenue into education, but also recruited Mozambicans to teach as volunteers. É... Comecei a dar aulas, os filhos de Samora, aqueles mais velhos, 
foram todos os meus alunos. Olívio, Ornil, todos eles. His policy to move people from the growing urban areas to work in rural settings was controversial. We need to sweep them out from the city and, 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 and to put them somewhere where they could have uh, something to do. But that was real an aggression uh, uh, against human rights. Well, algumas gravações que eu tenho aqui. Essa aqui era o discurso de Samora. É isso que eu estava a dizer. Vamos aproveitar o Vale do Influé, vamos a Manice, Matutuini, Moamba. O Samora, ele queria, agora está a falar que Samora, ele queria que todo mundo trabalhasse. Porque há muitas pessoas que não sabiam que nós até somos independentes. Então, porque já estávamos independentes. E as pessoas não tinham nas cabeças o que é independência. At home, he tried to root out corruption, even among his own ministers. Sim, 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 sim. Por exemplo, o Samara criticava, criticava. Nós, nós temos, nós temos muitos exemplos durante a governação de Samora de pessoas que foram fuziladas porque traficavam mercadoria. Samora is becoming extremely relevant, even in his most radical ideas. Like, and here I mean by public shootings and, you know. Uh, beating up people in public. More and more people are saying, you know what, if a good big group of people believe that's uh, the way it should go, we should beat people up. He did this with a fierce sense of moral duty. His family was held to the same standards. He was very disciplined, he was very hard. Let's say that my father was very hard. Uh, ele começou logo por nos dizer que não queria presentes em casa, presentes muito luxuosos, não é? coisas assim. Dizia-nos a nós que tínhamos que ver quem são os nossos amigos. Ele morreu um pobre homem, você sabe? Você poderia olhar em seus bancos de conta e não teria dinheiro lá. É conhecido que ele não deixou nada para os filhos ou para a sua esposa. Você sabe, ele deixou um sólido moral valor. Outside his borders, he strongly backed other African independence movements, making him an enemy of white rule in Southern Africa. Colonialismo é um crime contra a humanidade. Não há colonialismo humano. Não há colonialismo democrático. And through your hearts, Pay him those warm sentiments that he deserves as a true freedom fighter and revolutionary. Samora! Viva Zanu! Viva Zanu! Portanto, o país ficou economicamente e prejudicado, quer dizer, congelou aquilo que deviam ser uh, as aplicações para a parte econômica e social para a guerra. Viva camarada Roupa de Mugabe! A luta continua! A luta continua! A luta continua! Obrigado, amigo! He served as president from 1975 
They have important roles in society as entrepreneurs, journalists, educators. But few have political power. That is still primarily in the hands of Samora Michelle's generation. And these journalists, entrepreneurs and educators are critical of the state of the Frelimo party. They see a government that has forgotten Samora's principles, unity, honesty, accountability, concern for the common man, and his treasured issues, education, healthcare, and employment. Luis Nyochote is a freelance journalist. He is known for breaking stories that matter and sometimes anger the government. Louis thinks Samora Michelle would be distressed over the current state of the country. Yeah, basically ethical principles. That's we are crying and remember all days, every day Samora Michelle, because these, these things are, are already gone, disappear. I think Samora Michelle would have been alive if she would have por uma questão muito simples, se você, se você for ver os discursos de Samora Machel, sejam eles considerados populistas e não populistas, há, 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 há discursos muito fortes de, de, de combate à pobreza, de combate à, à, à corrupção, de combate ao analfabetismo, de combate à pobreza, que apesar, apesar... Muito triste, tenho a certeza absoluta. Acho que ele não se ia Maputo, com grandes prédios, a Jules Nyerer, com arranha-céus. Pode ser que ele gostasse de ver que, em vez de dois, temos 50 barcos. So what happened during Samora Machel's uh, rule was that the government was there with people suffering together because there was no food for everyone. They are suffering together and trying and, 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 and keep talking and arranging solutions together. Uh, uh, and, and that's what's missing today. The low quality of education in Mozambique is often cited when contrasting Samora to today's regime. Currently, only about half of Mozambicans can read and write. Many blame the lack of progress on the government's failure to fund education, often not paying its teachers. For Domingos Rosario, Independence Day wasn't much of a holiday. Eu disse não, não, não celebrei a independência porque não recebi salário. Não tendo recebido o salário, não tinha como uh, comprar as coisas básicas para poder celebrar a independência em casa. Você deve imaginar. É, tem tudo aqui. Ah, é fantástico. Ele spent it at home with his family. But in his situation, he was not in the mood for celebration. Domingos is a professor at Eduardo Monlani University, EMU, considered Mozambique's top school. He complains of low pay, huge class sizes, a lack of emphasis on quality in education. The level of is $1,000. E mil dólares para pagar a escola, comprar alimentos, não serve para nada, não chega. Então, vivemos praticamente de salário. Quando não se paga salário, como é que nós vamos celebrar a independência? A independência se celebra com barriga cheia, não é? Com barriga vazia não se celebra nada, não é? <laughs> Domingos considers himself Samoriana. And if the struggle continues, his principles could put the country on the right track. Feitas 
uh, para combater a pobreza, para combater a pobreza, de, de direitos básicos das suas, uh, acesso à saúde, acesso à educação. Students in Mozambique, of course, learned something about Samora Michelle in school. But from talking to EMU students, it's really just the basics. Primeiramente, aprendi que o presidente Samora Machel. Que foi o primeiro presidente de Moçambique, uh, independente, que foi quem proclamou a independência de Moçambique, uh, que era um homem rígido. The Samora Michelle Documentation Center, run by his daughter Olivia, is visited mainly by tourists. Frelimo Youth Wing leader Pedro Cosa thinks students should visit and the government should do more to educate on Samora's ideals. Samora Michelle founded the Youth Wing in 1977 and his relationship with the young people of his day was strong. We have to put our young people going to, the, to visit that center. And I think that the government must implement more Samora Michelle centers of, all over the country. He put many in positions of great authority at a young age. Annabella was teaching at university when she was just 17. Até entendíamos mal, sei lá, eu acho que eu era uma eu, eu sempre fui muito 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 rebelde, não é? Então, eu acho que poucas vezes a gente entendeu algumas medidas passadas por Samora Machel e pela Fré Lima, etc. One of Samora's great desires was for Mozambicans to help each other, to make the country self-sufficient. Horatio Shanga has been working at the charity Ajud for 15 years. Helping other people is more important than helping yourself, you know. So that's why I joined the organization, or it was still something like almost 15 years now. And he feels it fits with Samora's philosophy. Those ideas are not going to, be, to die. We, we need a country that is very united. Despite of those different, different cultures that you have, Actually, people say that the different makes people stronger. Samora Michelle died in a plane crash over South Africa, which many blame on the apartheid regime in Pretoria at the time. Identificando na juventude a seiva e o futuro da nação. Quem te dedicaste uma atenção especial nela, camarada de Samuel. Depois de tu, que nos ensinaste que as crianças moçambicanas são as flores mais belas germinadas desde a luta de Deus. Para quem continuarás a ser sempre o papá Samora? On the EMU campus, one can sense there is a new hunger to learn about Samora. 
and the realization that his ideas could play an important role in building a modern Mozambique. Não aceitava com a escravatura e, além disso, ele era um daqueles que não aceitava aqueles que subordinavam nos trabalhos. Students understand that unity means respecting their fellow Mozambicans, especially their elders. When we, we say good morning to, to a medical teacher, it's not about um, a principal thing, but it's about respect. We say good morning with smile. We say good morning in our acts. That means education, health for development, not only for single resolve one problem, but to, to resolve the problem of the nation. One idea that all three generations seem to recognize is that Samora predicted some of Mozambique's current problems 30 to 40 years ago. 40 years ago, on his speech, he said there will be individuals in this country that will own buildings, will, um, will have cars. Most of these individuals will be, will be ministers or ex-ministers. Ask them where that money came from. This is what you see today. We are seeing Samora Masil's speeches come to life. Eu Samora, ele mandava pessoas porque não queria corruptos. Então, e falando também da independência, é isso que eu também gostaria que a nossa independência nos 40 anos, até 50 anos, diminuímos a corrupção em Moçambique. Some feel they have benefited personally from the ideals that Samora instilled in them. Eric Charas is an engineer entrepreneur and media owner. He owns a free newspaper, Verdade, Portuguese for the truth, and has developed a housing estate. He thinks Samora would be proud of his projects. He would be extremely proud. I'm, I'm the first generation of independent Mozambicans, so it would also feel like a reward for him that all they fought, the years in the struggle, fighting colonialism, you know, fighting internal struggles that he was against corruption and, and against the mentality that we can't do things. <laughs> Julio also has some optimism about how Samora's ideas will affect Mozambique's future and those of his own family. After Independence Day festivities, Julio's daughter Nielete was born. Acho que a nossa independência que nós tivemos, 40 anos, lá para os 50 anos, talvez mude-se o estúdio moçambicano. Ela está um bocadinho muito em baixo, é, mas talvez se aumentarem os, o, 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 a oportunidade das escolas, talvez eu possa esperar boa coisa. Porque primeiro a escola, para eu esperar coisas grandes, primeiro tem que começar da escola e eles terem bons estudos. To many, Samora Machel's struggle still continues. A struggle for unity, for honesty, for education, for a Mozambique that takes care of its citizens. It appears that the sun has not set on the ideas of this country's great revolutionary. Aluta continua! Aluta!